everyone, and uh, thank f uh, thanks for the opportunity uh, for the organizers uh, to be here. I would like to talk to you about uh, Big Eye Box and the things I have done regarding the taxonomy and phylogeny so far in the past eight years. So uh, instead of uh, being uh, strictly enumerative and discussing my results, I would like to put it in more of a, a biographic context. So uh, let's start it in uh, 2015 when I applied for a PhD grant, decided to apply for a PhD grant. So I talked to my uh, previous supervisor, Dr. Elliot Kondoroshi, uh, I think you know him well. Uh, and he and he proposed me a topic, uh, Lagio, uh, Lagioide te te Taxonomy, uh, and I had to choose a group, uh, which was uh, Geocoridae. Uh, the reasons uh, will be discussed a bit later. So the first year went by with traveling to museums, recording type specimens, and uh, processing data. I uh, visited... Uh, uh, London twice and uh, and uh, spent a week, roughly a week in uh, Vienna. Uh, in London, first time I uh, spent a week and after that I went back with an Erasmus Plus Mobility uh, grant for three months to process the type material of this family. Uh, in 2017, I received a job at uh, Plant Protection Institute uh, after a little uh, period in uh, Hungarian Natural History Museum. I had to take a little break from academia, but I got back to uh, Plant Protection Institute where I'm working recently. Uh, so that's for the adventures. And for those who may not know them, uh, Big Eyed Bugs are a family of, uh, of uh, Ligeoida uh, consisting of five subfamilies uh, with roughly 300 uh, described species. Uh, they are distributed worldwide, even in extreme habitats like deserts or high mountains, they can be found. They are uh, morphologically highly specialized uh, with all these uh, kidney-shaped eyes, uh, sometimes ovoid, sometimes uh, to myrmecomorphic habitus, and they are unusual in terms of the feeding habits, among other uh, Ligeoids, because they are omnivorous with a uh, preference on predaceous feeding. Uh, and because of their predaceous feeding, they have an agricultural importance of, uh, as uh, predators of uh, several agricultural uh, insect pests. Uh, but their characteristic appearance uh, led to some problems and confusions because their diagnoses and descriptions uh, restricted to easy to observe characters, which resulted rough and ready taxonomy, as pointed out earliest by Torre Bueno in 1946 in his uh, monograph. Uh, and after several, uh, and after that, several other uh, authors from whom I would like to denote uh, Malik Malipatil, who worded this problem in the most beautiful way. Um, sorry, technical problems again. So this, uh, sorry for that. So, uh, so he was writing that generic limits are not clear, hence placement of several species are ambiguous. Uh, and this is, uh, and uh, based on this, he stated that uh, especially the nominotypical genus Geochoris is an ill-defined group of species which can be split into several distinct, uh, distinct genera. However, it is difficult because of their uh, uh, uniform structure and variable uh, color pattern. Uh, furthermore, this problem also impedes their... Uh, sorry, the animations are completely messed up.
Ah, uh, okay. Can I just ask for a minute break? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, uh, so, uh, so these problems uh, not only led to uh, confusions regarding the taxonomic placement of uh, the representatives of the family and the nominotypical subfamily, but also made almost impossible to explore the phylogenetic uh, relationships uh, within the group, uh, which is uh, already a, a big uh, question mark. However, there were several suggestions regarding coherent uh, taxon groups uh, within uh, the family, uh, for example, uh, as published by Radio and Sweet in 1982 or Pericot in 1999, uh, but these were uh, only suspected uh, things. So uh, another uh, idea for the classification was the tribal concept of uh, Montandon and uh, later adopted by Parshley, uh, splitting the whole uh, Bagdan subfamily uh, into three uh, tribes, as you can see it on the screen. Uh, but uh, this uh, concept, uh, this is from a uh, partialist publication, ha uh, has been followed by no taxonomic actions. Uh, thus, uh, the, uh, uh, the big guide box remained in the same status. Uh, my work started with the uh, second largest uh, genus, uh, Germalus, where I had uh, a quite an easy job because I had a good reference work. Uh, the Australian monography of uh, Malik Malipatil and uh, his colleague uh, Blackett, uh, which uh, provided me the guidelines I uh, needed to describe and diagnose species uh, quite accurately. However, switching to Gaucoris, uh, I faced uh, the problems which were pointed out by the authors mentioned before. Uh, and these problems can be summed up in this uh, quote that the devil uh, devil is in the details but those uh, but so is salvation so uh, in this case this means that uh, the problem is there are uh, there were a lot of uh, overlooked small uh, so to say nuances which were uh, very important uh, regarding these species. Uh, but uh, to, uh, to uh, uncover them, uh, first I had to look up literature where to start. And because in uh, terms of uh, geocurity, uh, only few uh, good monographs and uh, uh, articles were available, I had to broaden my uh, vision and uh, look around in uh, Ligeoida and uh, more generally in, uh, in all Heteroptera. Uh, fortunately, I found a lot of useful things. Uh, and also, uh, my, the start of my work was supported by a small DNA barcoding project I was able to perform on some uh, uh, Palearctic representatives, uh, along with some oriental species uh, of the uh, subfamily Geocurini, where the assumptions of the uh, coherent uh, groups and uh, some uh, uh, suspected uh, taxonomic positions uh, were uh, verified by molecular data. But uh, back to the morphology. Uh, uh, by the uh, monograph of uh, Radio and Sweet, there were characters uh, on the head, like uh, uh, the form of uh, the arrangement and uh, furrows of clepos or uh, tubercles on the head, or the uh, integument of vertex, or the uh, antenniferous tubercles, and so on. 
which was suggested to be useful, at least in terms of the US uh, taxa, uh, but they were studied on a broader sample, uh, which, uh, which uh, went with good results. Also, the uh, shape of uh, the the shape of the labial trope formed by the buccale uh, was found to be informative. Further characters were found on pronotum, like the callosities, on the scutellum, like the trifurcate carina, or the proportions of it. Uh, the clavus contained much information, and also uh, the corium, uh, mostly the punctuation of it. Uh, the most useful character of all was, I think, the uh, metatorsic scantiferent apparatus and uh, the uh, external, external structures of it. Not only the peritrine, but uh, the supporting projection or the, or the microid surface of the uh, evaporatorium. Uh, also, uh, the hind wing, the metatorsic wing, uh, gave us uh, good... Uh, points uh, in terms of the classification, the, uh, re uh, the revision of the class classification. These are mostly the presence or the reduction of the hummus and the interwannas, which uh, turned out to be uh, extremely uh, informative. Uh, synthesizing all this knowledge uh, resulted a preliminary uh, morphocladistic analysis. Uh, which uh, had two very important conclusions, that the tribal classification uh, which was proposed is partly correct, and the other that uh, Geochoris is not monophyletic. Uh, however, it was uh, too early to publish these results, so, uh, so I was thinking about the elaboration of the work, uh, which uh, could be uh, uh, achieved uh, by doing two things, improving the character matrix and expand the taxon sampling. The uh, improvement of the character matrix uh, is start, uh, has been started with the more in detail, more in-depth uh, study of the uh, MTSEA, uh, where finer structures like small indentations on the peritrame or uh, or the uh, shape of the uh, supporting projection, length of vestibular scar, uh, was found to be very, very variable. Uh, in the uh, genus Germalus, it almost allows us to identify uh, species uh, based on this single character. Furthermore, uh, the the uh, venation of metatorsic wing showed more uh, variation as suspected before, uh, because uh, even even in group uh, variation of the in the reduction of harmless uh, can be observed. Furthermore, there were one more character which can uh, which could be added uh, to the others. And this is the inclination of the uh, sutures between uh, abdominal targets uh, four to six. Uh, this is a this is a synapomorphy of the uh, family. However, it uh, shows uh, considerable variation between uh, various taxa. Uh, regarding the expanded taxon sampling, uh, after uh, Finding some uh, good suggestions in the uh, in literature, I decided to add uh, fossil representatives of uh, Geochoris as well. Uh, here we have Geochoris infernorum, and here Monserrati. These two are known from the Oligocene and the uh, from the Oligocene and the Eocene from two different formations, and their study also uh, gave us uh, some. Uh, boost. But the biggest one of this uh, was the discovery of Protogeochoris arcanus, which was found by uh, Ed Founders in an Ember piece uh, he uh, obtained for educational purposes. Uh, this uh, species was uh, described early this year along with the revision of the other two uh, fossil taxa. 
Uh, this work uh, allowed us to form a hypothesis regarding the evolution of this box, uh, which can be summarized by the uh, by the development of the larger lineages uh, until the end of the Cretaceous period and uh, the diversification of uh, Geochorinae sans stricto, Geochoris and its most uh, and its closest relative uh, at the uh, Eocene uh, Oligocene boundary. So, uh, and this picture is fresh from the oven because uh, these accumulated data uh, allowed me to improve the morphocladistic analysis, uh, which resulted this nice tree, which can be at first sight summarized by the uh, monophyly of uh, Geocorini and the separation of uh, several uh, major and, uh, and some other minor lineages. However, there was a disturbing thing that uh, within this clade, uh, where uh, Germalus and its relatives were contained, uh, is nested Australocorus currently, which belongs to a separate subfamily now, uh, Australocorini, described by uh, Malipatil in 2012. Uh, thus, I had to uh, think about the solution. And the solution is uh, just a suggestion which needs to be uh, tested, but uh, it goes as follows that. Uh, Germanus and its relatives uh, should be placed in Australocorini, and uh, which will result uh, that the that the fam uh, that the subfamily, which was uh, so far uh, endemic to Australia, will have a range uh, from tropical Africa to uh, the uh, to French Polynesia. And the rest can be left in Geocorini, uh, dividing into two uh, distinct groups. One is the A triple N S clade, as I call them uh, uh, for now, which is uh, containing a lot of New Caledonian uh, endemic taxa, along with uh, Australian Stelogaucoris and uh, and uh, neo uh, and neotropical ninias. The others are the so to say geocorini sans stricto, uh, which uh, consists of uh, geocoris and its uh, closest relative uh, mono and oligotypic uh, genera, which is of worldwide distribution. And as I said, that uh, the revision of the fossils. Uh, Led us to a hypothesis, uh, which can be uh, which can be verified on this tree because this, uh, so to say, a triple uh, triple N S clade uh, containing a lot of peculiar um, endemic and uh, with with limited distribution taxa contains Protogeochoris arcanus from uh, from the Cretaceous Burmese Amber which suggests that this clade is of Gondwanan origin. And for the other one, uh, the uh, rapid um, radiation at the Eocene-Oligocene boundary is uh, the placement of uh, Monserrati and uh, Infernorum, which uh, can be approved because it is uh, nested within the uh, morphologically highly similar uh, subclades of uh, Geocorini sensu stricto. So, summarizing, uh, it was hard yet fun of a project uh, where I think I could resolve mostly the problems which was uh, worded and suggested by the uh, previous authors regarding this very nice and, so to say, very useful uh, Ligeoid family. And uh, the synthesis of this uh, 
this uh, study uh, resulted in the first subfamily level phylogeny of Geocorini, which uh, uh, suggested the need of reclassification, but also uh, uh, provided a good base for it. But there is still a lot to do, so I will keep up this work and hopefully the phylogenetic results will be published uh, latest next year. Thank you for your attention and excuse me for the technical problems.